This is the all new Jones Orion binding. It splits the difference between free ride performance with a softer freestyle flex. And we are out here in absolute riding a whole bunch of different conditions to put this to the test. So I'm gonna hand it over to our team and see what they make of it. There's sometimes a tendency for products that claim to do everything and strike a balance right down the middle as being a little bit, well, boring. But that is so not the case with the new Orion binding from Jones. It was by far one of the team's favorite in test and it seemed like wherever we rode it and whatever board we stuck it on, it just delivered. Stiffer than the Meteorite, a little softer than the Mercury. I've got a feeling these are gonna be pretty popular this season. Now, obviously, we've got to talk about skate tech because that's really at the heart of this binding's performance. If you're familiar with now bindings, and let's face it, who isn't these days, you'll notice it's built around the same design. The binding hanger is connected to this central post and it can easily pivot via these two kingpins on either side. So what this does is create a fulcrum or a lever effect where you transfer power to a new edge, all that energy is immediately put out to these contact bushings that you have in all four corners. Now, don't worry, the binding doesn't rock or swivel or anything weird like that, but what it does do is give you effortless response and a really smooth dampened out ride as you're no longer reliant on cranking the straps super tight or torquing the binding to get the most performance from them. I'm personally a huge fan of Skate Tech and I know a lot of the White Lines team are as well. It just works in any terrain, on any board and with any style of riding. But Skate Tech isn't unique to the Orion, so what else have we got going on here? Well, I already mentioned how nice that high back looked, thanks to the paintwork of Joan's regular artist, RP Roberts, but there's actually a lot more going on here too. This is Joan's new progressive flex high back, and it's made with this dual density construction. Thicker and stiffer in the bottom, but then becoming softer once you move up into these perforations in the top half. Now this translates into a sort of dual performance. The high back is much stiffer down here along the bottom and it gives you plenty of support and rebound on your heel side turns, but it becomes significantly softer at the top half. And that gives you the freedom to tweak and move more freely when you're grabbing, slashing, or getting stuck into flatland freestyle. The straps are also new and redesigned. The toe cap is pre-curved, but the material is also stretchy, so it more efficiently takes the shape of any boot. And check out these ankle straps. They just look comfortable, right? And they are. 3D molded, asymmetric outline to better support your boot, and a really supple material that doesn't create any pressure points. But what's really great with all skate tech bindings is how much less reliant you become on cranking down those straps. You'll be amazed at how much looser you can ride them and still generate all the control that you need. One last feature I wanna highlight is here. You might have seen this already. These are the flip it ankle straps. So you can flip them between free ride and surf mode by swapping which binding you put them on. And that allows you to change how high or low the ankle strap sits on the boot and therefore how responsive or forgiving it's gonna feel. We played around with them quite a bit as we tested the Orions on the new park specific Jones tweaker and the all mountain free ride mind expander. And it was amazing how effectively you can change the personality of the binding with just that one simple change. There's a bunch of other great features I haven't even mentioned yet. So things like this little hinge on the ankle strap, which allows the binding to sit right open when you wanna get your boot inside. Also quick and simple tool for your adjustments of the strap lens and forward lean in the high back. But what makes this binding so good in our opinion isn't any one feature, but the sum of all those parts and how the end product isn't the most premium, the most powerful, or even the most specific in terms of where it performs in the mountain, but was probably one of the most fun to ride everywhere and the most comfortable in test. And I think for most of us, comfort and versatility are the two biggest boxes a binding needs to tick. The Orions absolutely nail this. That's about it for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions about these, then stick them down below and myself or one of the team will be happy to answer them. And please do subscribe to the White Lens YouTube channel. We've got a whole bunch more snowboard product reviews dropping for this winter. Thanks again. See you next time.